know, but okay. I'm just, I'm, we know what I'm trying to search for. Wait, wait, where are the Lakers? You guys, you don't want to pat Bev and Russell Westbrook? I like it, I, and they're going to be friends. I, that Do you really beef, like it? That beef that people think there is, when you become teammates, is way different, because I've had beef with dudes, and I became teammates, and we became like this. Yeah. My question, I want to see this, because both these guys are ball-dominant guys. Both guys averaged above nine assists last year. So where does the sacrifice come in? But normally, but just, my thing is great players find a way to make it work. But they're, like, have different strengths. You know, Trey's low to the ground, and lot G3s. You know, DeJounte sort of is downhill Mr. and, like, has double. a different... Exactly. So uh, I'm still like on the fact that... Matt said he liked the, the Lakers backcourt and he thinks it's going to work. Because yesterday, Brian Windhorst on the show, he was like, that is not going to work. I don't mind Let's it. bring him oh, back no. with us. I don't mind <laughs> you, you saw that. Are I, you all right? I am still trying. <laughs> I am still trying to get over that we had Beverly and Westbrook on the list of notable backcourts ahead of at least it's seven or eight other ones that could it's have been on note. that list. It is, I mean, Matt Barnes, like, you cannot look at me with a straight face. <laughs> I'm not even looking at you right now. And tell me that you think that that backcourt. Is that why Twitter comes for you, bro? Because I'm you not even looking at you. And tell me that that backcourt can work in any circumstance <laughs> in 2022 NBA. <laughs> and you can't tell me that LeBron James is, has Take any interest in playing me. with those two guys Coming. not spreading the floor for him. Hey, I'm not looking but at you. Brian. I will move on and say that, um, you know, I'm surprised that the Dallas Mavericks, I mean, Luka Doncic and a guy off the street could be a top 10 backcourt in the NBA. And Spencer Dinwiddie is not a guy off the street. I know that they lost Jalen Brunson, and I know that that's going to be something to recover. But Spencer Dinwiddie put up really big numbers when he was with the Dallas after the trade last year. He put up some of his best three-point shooting numbers of his career. We'll see if that carries over. But I would not sleep on Dallas. I know they did not have a good offseason. I will agree that they I don't think they handled their um, their maneuvers well. But I think Luka Doncic is a beast, and I think with Dinwiddie having the whole training camp to go along with him, I think they're going to be right up there with some of the best in the league. Don't, I mean, don't, don't mention the Lakers' backcourt to Brian anymore. He is bet up. Um, but look, uh, we just... We, Not in the list of some of the best, my God. <laughs> Notable. Hey, they're on the list. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.